Can role-playing games improve your sex life? What is the role of clitoral stimulation in achieving the female orgasm? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, role-playing games can improve the sex life of some couples. They help foster communication, creativity, and exploration of fantasies. However, it is important that both parties are comfortable and consent to participate. Clitoral stimulation is crucial for many women in achieving orgasm, as it is a highly sensitive area rich in nerve endings. Accessories and toys. The sex toy industry offers a variety of accessories specifically designed for anal sex, from dilators to vibrating toys, which can enhance the experience. Anal sex and pregnancy. Anal sex does not lead to pregnancy, but it is important to practice contraceptive methods if the couple does not wish to conceive. The association between sex and creativity. Some studies have suggested that sexual activity can stimulate creativity and problem solving. The release of dopamine and oxytocin during sex may enhance cognition. Association with stigma. Although society has evolved in terms of sexual acceptance, Anal sex can still be associated with stigmas. Education and openness can help challenge these stigmas. Cared for skin. Healthy and well cared for skin is often considered attractive, reflecting personal care. The coitus interruptus method, involving withdrawing the penis before ejaculation to prevent pregnancy, is one of the least effective contraceptive methods. It is often called the withdrawal method. Courtesy and respect. Mutual respect and courtesy are essential in a relationship. Treating others with respect and consideration is often seen as attractive. Kink culture, BDSM, bondage, discipline, dominance, submission, sadism, and masochism is a sexual subculture involving consensual erotic practices and games. For many, BDSM is a way to explore fantasies and boundaries. Sexual desire in menopause. Menopause can affect women's sexual desire due to hormonal changes. However, many women experience increased sexual freedom after menopause. Late sexual awakening. Some individuals experience a late sexual awakening in adulthood meaning they develop a heightened interest in sexuality after years of little or no interest. Diversity of sexual orientations. Sexual orientation is diverse and goes beyond heterosexuality. It includes orientations such as homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many others. Each person has their own unique orientation. Sexual education. Today, sexual education has evolved to address topics such as sexual diversity, STI prevention, and the importance of consent. However, the quality of sexual education varies widely worldwide. Sexual education in Nordic countries, Nordic countries such as Sweden and Denmark, have very open and comprehensive sexual education in schools. This translates to lower rates of teenage pregnancy and sexually transmitted diseases. The effects of pornography. Consuming pornography can impact a person's sexual life and expectations. Some find it to be a source of inspiration, while others may experience issues related to addiction. Emotional strength. The ability to handle emotional situations maturely and balanced is an attractive trait. Evolution of sexual tolerance Society has undergone an evolution in sexual tolerance. What was once considered taboo is now more accepted, promoting greater openness regarding sexual diversity. Family care, interest and concern for family, and the ability to be a good parent can be very attractive. Clear head phenomenon. After orgasm, some people experience a sense of mental clarity, known as the clear head phenomenon. 
This may be due to the release of endorphins and stress relief. Unusual fetishes. Fetishes can vary widely, and some individuals have unusual sexual interests. This may include an attraction to objects, specific roles, or unique situations. Focus on mutual pleasure. Like in any sexual activity, focusing on mutual pleasure and the well-being of both parties is essential for a positive experience. History of vibration. The use of vibrating devices for sexual stimulation dates back to the 19th century. Initially created as medical devices to treat female hysteria, they became popular sexual toys. The importance of consent. Consent is crucial in any sexual activity. Individuals must give voluntary, informed, and affirmative consent before engaging in any sexual act. Cultural influence. Sexuality is influenced by the culture in which one lives. What is considered attractive or taboo can vary widely among different societies and eras. Understanding these cultural differences is essential for healthy sexual communication. The influence of music on arousal. Music can be a powerful aphrodisiac. Various musical styles and songs can influence mood and sexual arousal. Intense gaze. An intense and penetrating gaze can be attractive, suggesting confidence and emotional connection. Ancient sex toys. Sex toys are not a modern invention. Ancient artifacts resembling dildos have been found in different cultures, suggesting that people have been exploring sexual pleasure for centuries. Kegel, not just for women, Kegel exercises involving the contraction and relaxation of pelvic floor muscles are not exclusive to women. Men can also benefit from them to improve sexual health and control. Masturbation in the animal kingdom. Masturbation is not exclusive to humans. Some animals, such as primates, dolphins, and certain birds, also masturbate for various reasons. Mental preparation. Mental preparation is crucial for a positive experience. Open communication and trust between partners can significantly contribute to emotional comfort. Musculature. Muscularity, especially in men, can be considered attractive as it relates to strength and physical fitness. No relation to sexual orientation. Engaging in anal sex is not related to sexual orientation. Both heterosexual and homosexual women can enjoy this activity. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little known phenomenon. Paraphilia refers to sexual attraction to unusual objects, situations, or activities. Examples include exhibitionism, voyeurism, and fetishism. Physical build. Some women may find different types of physique attractive, whether slender, athletic, or with a bit of weight, depending on personal preferences. Pleasure without sex. It's possible to experience sexual pleasure without the need for sexual intercourse. Erogenous stimulation of other body parts, such as the neck, breasts, or thighs, can lead to orgasm in some individuals. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.